The first ever film in Afrikaans, the dialect of Afrikaans, with words from other languages as well, is making waves in South Africa, trying to change the often one-dimensional, negative perception of Cape Town's mixed-race community. Barakate, which means blessings in Arabic, was filmed in the Cape Flats, a vast low-lying area to the southeast of Cape Town's city center, where many disenfranchised people were forcibly moved by the former apartheid government in the 1950s. Amy Jepta, a multiple award-winning director, says she embarked on producing the movie to show there is also a more hopeful side to the area, not just crime, gangs and drugs. Barakay tells the story, in the rich cake-flavored dialect, of a widowed Muslim mother who finds a new love, a Christian man, whom she wishes to marry. However, she finds difficulty in gaining the approval of her four sons, who are still coming to terms with the loss of their father. Jepta says the portrayal of the rich heritage of language and culture of the local communities was a major factor for doing the movie. Both Christians and Muslims speak Afrikaans. There is a commonality between the Muslim and Christian cultures on the Cape Flats, the communities are so integrated she says. In the communities I know, Christian people would be part of the annual Lavarang celebration in the same way that Muslim kids would often celebrate Christmas. With her dad being Muslim and her mom Christian, Jepta believes she has a great vantage point from which to relate the long and harmonious coexistence between the two communities. I'm half-half, like many children on the Cape Flats are. My upbringing was an intersection of two religions so I was raised in a house in which Islam was practiced the film director says. Barricade in Afrikaans means taking home a gift, normally confectionery, or food, that is left over from a party. But Jepta says that some imams told her that the barricade can also come in a form of a person in disguise. Blessings come in different forms and can come unexpectedly, she says. She kept the dialogue in the film in Afrikaans in order to promote the language. Afrikaans used to be called Kombi's Afrikaans, but that's a term I prefer not to use because it makes it feel like it's a lesser version of Afrikaans which it's not, Jepta says. Afrikaans is a legitimate, realist form of the language. Afrikaans is one of South Africa's 11 official languages. It has its roots in Dutch, but includes words that are variants of Malay, Portuguese, and Indonesian, as well as the indigenous Khoi and San languages of South Africa. Afrikaans also includes Afrikaans words that have a peculiar Cape Flats pronunciation as well as words derived from English and Malay, which has died out in South Africa but was spoken by slaves whom the Dutch had brought to the Cape in the 17th and 18th century. Dr. Quinton Williams, director of the Center for Multilingualism and Diversities Research at the University of the Western Cape, is equally excited about the growth of Afrikaans and wants to see more films like Rakate. In most cases where children grow up on the Cape Flats they are socialized in Afrikaans, but the moment they get to school the system tries to beat it out of them through the standardization of Afrikaans. Movies like Barricade push the narrative towards the emancipation and empowerment of Afrikaans speakers. The majority of Afrikaans speakers are working class says Dr. Williams. The academic attributes the resurgence in Afrikaans to a movement by the younger generation wanting to assert their identity. This generation is now recognizing that they require better agency and voice so that they too can represent their culture and the place where they come from, the Cape Flats, in a more positive light. Dr. Williams is confident that Afrikaans will be recognized as an official dialect, and this might come sooner than people think. Plans are also underway to come up with an Afrikaans dictionary. What I'm trying to do is to capture it to make sure that we don't lose words, that they don't die out, he says. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.